Well, they didn't need any electricity supply in the House of Commons today to give the bosses of Britain's biggest energy companies a serious grilling. They were accused of utter complacency over their response to the Christmas storms that left three quarters of a million homes without any power at all. MPs on the Energy Select Committee said that the companies had showed neglect for their customers, lacked any real concern for their welfare, a sentiment echoed by customers themselves, as Fatima Manji has been finding out. It was a memorable Christmas, for all the wrong reasons. If the floods hadn't forced you out of your home, you were left sitting in the dark, and in the dark about what was going to happen next. Faced with a Dickensian Christmas, thousands were furious about the lack of power and the absence of information. It was an anger perhaps best articulated here in the village of Yolding in Kent, when one flood victim took on the Prime Minister. No, we've still got no electric. What, what, what do you need now? Electric first? Electric first. You know, and as I say, the council, from Monday, we've been trying to contact them. Nothing. Nothing. Have the council been round since? Because now, obviously. Well, I'll get on to the council. The PM's appearance did provoke the council into action. But today was the turn of energy bosses to explain why they hadn't acted fast enough. Do you all recognise that the suffering of customers is greatly aggravated by getting poor information about when they're going to be reconnected? You'd be forgiven for thinking they were six naughty schoolboys. The MPs giving them a telling off wanted to know exactly how many people had been affected. What is the right figure today? Um, I'm sorry, I don't have that figure off the top of my head today. So as the trade body, uh, we're now uh, three weeks after this problem, you can't tell us uh, how many customers were without power for more than 24 hours. Um, I, I, I will have it buried in my head. I will, I will tell you that figure as soon as it comes into my head. They were at pains to point out they had offered compensation. If any customer is off, f even for a minute, during Christmas, they will be paid £75. That just didn't cut it for the woman who'd already given the Prime Minister a piece of her mind. I can't see any one of them men that were sitting there today, they did not look sorry. They were OK and they are getting rich off the backs of people like us. And that's a view shared by the chair of the Energy Select Committee. I have to conclude that you're exploiting your privileged monopoly position and you've displayed a neglect for your customers which I personally find absolutely <coughs> astonishing. But thank you all for coming in. And with a withering look, that was it. As the classroom emptied, energy customers across the country were left with little reassurance.